Greetings, everybody. I wanted to share with you a lesson that I'm going to be teaching my students before winter vacation. I teach sixth grade art, and this is something that I think that they will be able to handle and love doing. This is based on mandalas, and I used to teach mandalas in sixth grade, but it got pretty frustrating because students, I would give them watercolor paper and they would do a design in one pizza slice. Then I'd give them tracing paper and they would trace and flip it and transfer and trace back and flip it. And it became messy and it really did not, some worked with radial symmetry, but it was quite frustrating. So I think by doing it this way, it may be less frustrating, but we'll see. So to start out with, this is a template that I created in Google Draw. I created the circle first and then the line tool to go straight down, the line tool to go across and then to divide it. With younger students, you could just do four quarters, like a four slice pizza, but I'm going with eight. So once you get it to this point, I'm gonna use the circle tool and I'm gonna create the background colors first. So you go to shapes, go to circle. I hold my finger down on the shift key and then I drag and draw a circle. I'm gonna line this up so that it's centered. I'm going to remove the black border. Then I'm gonna pick a color, okay? Then I'm going to move it backwards and all the way back, okay? So there's the first one. Next, I'm going to create another circle. And I'm going to draw the circle shape. I'm gonna line it up. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm going to change the color. Maybe I make this one there. I'm going to send it to the back, okay? So you just build it this way and you could limit the number of circles. You could change the dimension of the circles have them be smaller, have them be um, much closer together, okay? If you want a color to not be as significant, bring it back, okay? So that looks pretty nice. You can repeat a color. So basically you just build it this way and Students, again, depending on your students, grade level or ability, you could take this in a lot of different directions. So there. And then I'm gonna do one more back behind the whole thing. And I'm gonna go to here. And I'm gonna go to there. And I'm gonna draw a bigger one. See if that lines up there. And I'm gonna get rid of the line and we will give this one a nice soft background color, send it back. So that is kind of how I would set this up. Um, this is a little bit off alignment, so I'm gonna adjust that a tiny bit, drag a corner, bring it down, drag a corner, Bring it up. So I would give this one day. I think that this part would be a good part one spot. Okay. So once you get it to there, then we will move on to adding the shapes. So now it's time to create shapes. So what I suggest students do is go to view and let's zoom in 200% so that we're looking at one pizza slice only, okay? They're gonna use the shape tool. So from here, you can use the circle tool and I'm gonna start with the center one. And what if I just create one oval and I'm gonna turn it so that it kind of fits inside of that one slice pretty neatly there. I'm gonna get rid of the line around it and I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna make this white, okay? So we're only doing one slice and then we're gonna group it and copy and paste it and flip it. So next up, maybe I want to add 
a circle shape that's more of a circle. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go one. And maybe this one, I'm going to make this, try to pull in some of the other colors. I'll pull in the purple. And I'm gonna copy it, so Command C, Command V. Move this into place. Command V, move this into place. And this is where students can really start getting um, real meticulous with their designs. Maybe I go back to this shape and I go Command C, Command V, and I'm gonna drag it up here. I'm going to use that little corner button. Maybe I shrink it down and I'm going to get this the way I want it. I'm gonna take a look at it and I'm gonna fix a little bit of this up. So it's kind of a lot of sort of toggling back and forth. And I'm going to then go, click it, Command C, Command V. So again, you could have for students a specific number of shapes. You could have them just do one shape and change the size of it, kind of like what I'm doing, okay? You can also use the draw tool. You could do triangles. So if I come over here, maybe I take this triangle tool and maybe I see what would happen here. Getting get rid of that. Let me make this, this light green, and I'm going to spin it so it fits. Click out of there, do you like it? Keep it, if you don't, delete. Now, Command C, Command V. Move it up and slightly turn it. Command V. So I would imagine this piece will take a day or a second day depending on the complexity, okay? So once you have a completed slice, one completed slice, then you're going to copy that whole slice. Now there's something going on here. So you can do a shift arrow, it will help you move things just a tiny bit at a time. I'm doing shift and then I'm using one of the arrow cursors this over a little bit and I can fit one more in there and bring this up. So I found that if students just work on one section at a time that ends up being pretty cool. Okay now let me go back to this circle shape or actually okay so command C command V take this bring it up use the circle and spin it this way and now I'm going to copy that so these are a lot of little tricks that might help your students. And I think I can fit three in there and I'm gonna spin that around and spin that a little bit more, okay? Now, maybe I go back to some of my circle elements and maybe I come over here, go back to circle and I'm gonna go shift, circle, get rid of that line. Let me make this. I'm gonna go back to this lighter green, maybe. Oh, I know, I'll go back to this color. And I'm gonna bring that in. And I'm going to bring it over here. And I'm going to then do a drawing tool. So take this, do a curve. I'm gonna start up here. And again, you can decide how much you want to have students do on their own. Okay, I can get rid of that line. I can make this, maybe this red color. Mm, it's not quite right, maybe I go to here. We'll see, I may or may not like that in the end. Okay, all right, so once you get everything in place and um, I would still juggle these around a little bit more and I may not be keen on having those circles in there, but just for purposes of a demonstration. Now, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit because what you need to do is you are going to copy these and we're going to paste them around the rest of this pizza slice. So to do this, you are going to hold the shift key down. You are going to press each shape. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to slightly highlight them. If you have a lot of little shapes, make sure you get all of them 
Otherwise, you'll be missing one of your pieces. There they all are. Go to arrange, go to group. Okay. Now I'm going to do a control C and I'm going to copy this. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to do a command V and I'm going to paste it. There's my one. So you're going to move them over. Use this circle, spin it around. Now it's really every other one if you want this to have radial symmetry. Okay. So this takes a little bit of finagling. Look at where things line up. Look at how things fill each of your spaces um, so that you can try to get that similar as you go, okay? I've already got the shape copied. I'm gonna do Command V. Again, drag it, move it over to where you wanna move it to, spin it around, pull this into every other one. Why? Because some of these shapes may not be perfectly symmetrical within their own space. And you could decide if you want to change that and make that a little bit easier for your students. Um, I would like for my students to be able to do it this way. Um, but you know, we'll sort of see how it rolls when they get started on it. Then I have one more that's going to go that way. So I'm going to command V, bring this over, swing it around, and slide it into that pizza slice. Okay. Now, to make this have proper symmetry, what you're going to want to do is I can still move that in just a little bit. I can still Command V this, but now I'm going to flip it. Okay, so watch Command V, bring this over here. Go to Format Options, go to Size and Rotation. Click flip, flips it around. You only have to do that one time because now I'm gonna copy and paste this one into place. So I'm gonna spin this around. I'm gonna bring this out and bring this out and really check how things are lining up in that center point there. Check how they line up in all of your other spaces. Okay, now this one, Command C, Command V. That way you don't have to keep flipping it, you know you've already flipped it. And I'm gonna bring this in, and I'm gonna bring, oops, let me grab this, oops. Oh, now I gotta bring this, and I'm gonna curve it, and I'm gonna keep spinning it, and I'm gonna slot that in. I overshot that one a little bit, didn't I? And I'm gonna curve this around a little bit. Look at where things line up with your pizza slices. So I could see this being um, simplified for sure, okay? Depending on your group, I could see it made more complicated as well. So it's really up to you. Um, once you get all of this in place, then I'll show you one more cool little trick that you could do here. And then you can choose your background and then you'll have it all done. So chances are, knowing my students and knowing my schedule. This would probably take about a full week of instruction. Um, again, it depends whether we are remote, we have a shorter amount of time, we have more time if kids are in the building, but they've kind of altered the amount of time that we have for specials right now. So let me see if I can get this little guy in here. And just about done there. And there. So the very last step of all is once you get it like this, here's a cool thing you can do. Go to shapes. Go to call outs. Find this little guy here. Let me zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to draw this interesting little guy here. Do you have to do that? No, but it's certainly fun to do. And I am going to pick this red color. Kaboom. I am going to zoom out, there you go, and I am going to draw a background color, the last step. Take the shape tool and fill it, sorry I missed that shape there. Fill that, I don't want it white, black, sorry. I'm gonna make this here, I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna move it to the back, and there you have it, okay? Pretty cool, I think. We're gonna give it a try and see how it works. These are some that I did earlier. 
there's this one and there's this one, different color backgrounds, black or white, okay? So there is my assignment to you. I hope you enjoy doing this and perhaps it'll give you some ideas on things you can do for yourself. So thanks for watching.